the topic is is funny and it's very very skeptic. Extremely. The way, the way, yeah, the way I see it is like at least uh I've dated someone like them back on about for six years. And even though I saw the person was the character was questionable, yeah. I still give that person a try. I still try to remove that person. But mm. when I discover that I cannot change the person, the person is still like thinking of baby age or youthful age. So I tried and tried and tried to repair, to fix. It was difficult. You know, there's a, they said when a tailor wants to, the, 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 the tailor that, that sew a new clothes, Eh? The job is more easier than the one that wants to amend. Amend is difficult. Mm. Mm. The time you used to amend a dress, yeah, by then that person might have co concluded a new dress. So, yeah. on that part of it, the, if the guy knew that he doesn't want the person for six years, six years is too much. Six years, you did not remove the person, you did not. Uh, no, no, no. So, the best way is to exit. Exit out is the best way. But at the end of the day, it's like, let me try to tell, let me put it this way again. It's like someone didn't tell you, oh, you're going to get married to this particular person. But at the end of mm -hmm. the day, they are using the rubber in order for them to do the needful. But at the end of the day, why are you keeping the person? That person is not a door. It's not a toy in your house that you That's be keeping. True. The person have life. Pleasuring himself. So at that moment, they're depriving the person from her future husband. That true. is it. So with that alone, if before they even before the person will say, oh, I don't want to just if you use her teeth to count. I at, um, at me to count at it before hmm. start developing it for something that it doesn't want. Because now this is now this is relationship is not cheap. Relationship is not is not a cheap thing. It's not something that oh it's gonna be only me. No, it's based on two people. And now most men they are looking for career women. I keep True. saying it, but some people think maybe oh, because career, they little, either you have a career or you have something doing, because they don't even want a big problem. If she's not a body to the man, she's not like a body, then she can just go real fast and look for somebody that will that will help her out. Because imagine her husband is out there, the person is walking out to get my husband. Where's the noise coming from? I don't think it's my though. Yeah, there's so much noise. I don't know from Lillian? Sorry. Lillian, is it from you? It's not, my music is out. I think it's Olasu coming. They are watching yeah. football. Yeah, so that that just that is it. Most most people look oh, and the, most people are always scared. Oh, they're not going to see nobody. There are men out there. They are reasonable men. I keep saying it. There are reasonable men out there that are looking for the person they're going to meet. When the, that is, if that is the person, the body chemistry will pick it. I sure. don't think that is the body chemistry. When I saw my wife, my my body chemistry told me it told me that this is your wife. She said, hmm. "Go and pray." I don't care about She said, "Go and pray about it." I said, "I already prayed. That is my wife." But today, John, I see you, sir. Thank so you. tell us what's the take on this secret um you know there's not as far as i'm concerned there's no issue here you understand so uh i think the the lady that is involved is the one that is finding it difficult to face reality you understand mm. uh -huh. so sometimes when we are lucky and fortunate our goal or dream or vision might intertwine with someone we choose to love or give our heart to. 
You understand? Mm. But sometimes they might not think. They might not go in the same direction. Uh, but okay. when human, as a rational human being, we tend to find it difficult to let go, even when we see red flags and all of that. And for what I have to say, this very man or dude that is in this uh, scenario very rude and disrespectful. You understand? Mm. Oh, yes. It's not respect of mm. the of the girl's uh, feeling. It's not. It's not. It's insensitive to even make a statement and say, you know what? I'm only helping your future husband to find a wife with one body count. Yeah, That's so like that. Is, that is the worst thing you can ever say to a lady. You can ever say human being. You understand? And so right now, there is no nothing to say, okay, let's unravel if you actually love her, if you want her or not. From that statement, this dude is not ready. And if that lady waits for that proposal, that proposal may never happen. You understand? Mm. And so it's a hard pill to swallow. So that lady has to face the reality. And that lady, what I will say to that lady is that there is nothing wrong with and for the fact that, oh, the lady dude has he proposed, whatever, there's nothing wrong with you. And based on the uh, other part of the message, he says uh, he say he hasn't proposed. reason is because of your character. You see that? And that mm -hmm. character, dude is serious. He has dealt with that character for six years. You see that? So for the fact that that dude has tolerated that your character for six years, there should be some element that will make that dude want to propose to you too, if actually the dude is ready. True. So now, on the part of the dude, the dude is being selfish. He knew that he doesn't want this lady, but it's difficult for that uh, dude, you know, to let this lady be. So right now, me, uh, uh, lady, you cannot wait for the dude to decide your future or your destiny for you. This is a good revelation, and you should be thankful. Mm. But if that went to you and said, you know, I am, uh, I, I am happy, uh, you should, as he also said, I should, you should be lucky that he's helping your future husband. So he didn't, he takes himself out of that equation that he can never be your husband, that he's not your husband. Yeah, he has told you indirectly. Yes, indirectly. And that now it's not saying I'm your husband. If the contest was like, oh, I am not ready, I am still in school, I am still trying to do this, do that before we settle down with you, that is different. He's telling you, it's a clear message that he's not willing to be your husband. And so, sure. what I would say to you, okay, I know in my heart, it might be hard, but in life, we have to, as rational human beings, we have to learn to face reality. People you must have different choices. The people you love might not love you. The people who that love you, you might not love you. Of a you know? <laughs> yeah. Is it from Lillian? No, no it's think... not. No. Is it Lola? I, I'm not. Can you hear me though? Can you hear me? I can hear. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. So sometimes we have to be very, you know, uh, honest with ourselves. We have to face the reality that uh, we, everybody cannot want us. We cannot want everyone. And for the fact that people don't want us, it doesn't mean that we are defective. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with us. You understand? Mm. Our things are different. Sometimes God might be trying to prevent us from a problem in the future, which could be a blessing in this case. So this lady mm. just, you know, ask and make the right decision at this time and move forward. Don't keep wasting your productive life with somebody who doesn't respect you, who is not willing to settle down with you. Who is not uh, uh, willing to, you know, to be your husband, and so no mm. matter how consistent you are on the wrong direction, your consistency on that path can never make it right. Wrong direction, Very true. 
And sometimes it's good that you have to start all over again, recalibrate and build. You mm. understand? And so even when you are in high school, sometimes when you're in a university, you have a lot of bad. You say this was your course advisor will tell you, you know what is better for you. You might want to graduate with your set, with your mate. They, they will say, okay, it's better for you to repeat that class or what they call it, a spillover, so that you can mm -hmm. have the opportunity to study and do it again. I have more grade that will be such is life too. And so it's hard for us to say, okay, you know what? Let me start all over. So man or lady, do not beat yourself up over this individual, very or serious and uh, rude and disrespectful individual. I feel I that. You, you know you deserve more than this person, you know. Uh, so for the fact that someone is virgin you or whatever, it doesn't make it uh, uh, what they call, um, uh, 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 it's not a prerequisite that the person must get married. must to. marry you, yeah. Uh, it's not a prerequisite for that. And so, please, face reality, it might be hard. And emotionally, but with time, you will heal. Time will heal. This is one of the red flags, and do not ignore it so that you don't pay the bigger price when, you, when you're already so deep inside and you get pregnant and all of that. You understand? So this man is not ready, and don't waste your time. It's as simple as that. Simple. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right. That makes a whole lot of sense. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes. Have a beautiful day at work and see you very soon. Yeah, let me let Steffi go. <laughs> okay. And it's something going on with him and her. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, with her to, you know, be there like that all that time. Mm. It's something. And she's selling in for less. She should know that she is the queen and not to settle like that. And in so many words, he told her that she's not wife material. And I wouldn't have waited for no six years either. <laughs> I would have been gone out of there. Hello, I see you. Hello, Pearl. What's up? You good? Okay, family, thank you very much. Timmy, quickly give her an advice then I want to ask SBC a question about this body count. Like, it's drilling in my head, but I want to hear you. Tell me, what would you say to this young lady? Uh, the one you pinned? Yeah. No, the one that is about to be pinned. Which one is it? What's it? Uh, sweet banana store? Of course, that's the topic we're talking Dr. about. Dr. Precious. <laughs> for me, eh? <laughs> yes, for us. Mm, nice. Because I stayed in my relationship for years without no marriage. I believe like we are, we are living together as fiancés and everything to so have our kids. Because for me, like That's when a guy keeps wasting your time, like he's wasting your time. If he really want to marry you and he loves you for six years for dating, for courtship is enough. And it's even too much. Mm. Because I don't uh, think madam, the guy is ready to marry her. It's just madam, like guy just keeping her a company to look for the right person or the kind of woman he wants. Tell me. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, can you? Dr. Precious. Yes. Dr. Precious, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Let's yeah, check. I think I think we should we should try and and rephrase our statement from the guy. The guy is wasting her time. They both wasting their time. You understand? The guy is not just the person. That's true. Yeah. See, Doctor Precious, if you don't give me your time, I cannot waste your time. Hmm. You understand me? Sure. If you don't give me your time, I cannot waste your time. Exactly. So that's for, why the lady needs me, to go. Yeah, so so we should not say the guy is wasting our time. No, they're both wasting their time because she hmm. gave him the time. That's why he's our able time. to waste she gave our, him our time. Our time. 